Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner, and this is the review. Look, I don't know how long this is going to take, so have a seat, get a drink, get some food, you know what I'm saying, get comfortable, because the episode was over an hour. I feel some kind of way about that, okay? And I feel some kind of way about this whole episode. So, let's just get started. Y'all already know to subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm Y'all already know to like, comment, and share to my stuff. Y'all already know to follow me on IG and all that stuff. Let's just get this over with. Let me say this, okay? I have this season six of power. I know this isn't the season finale. It's the mid-season finale. We have five more episodes that'll come on in January. But since Comcast is finally dropping stars, I have to get the stars app just to finish out this show. But I digress, okay? Um, I feel like we have been watching this show for six seasons and you know, it was always like, what's the end game? What are we leaving, leading up to? You know, when we ended season five, came into season six, and I feel like, I mean, let's just let's 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 just let's just start, okay? We see Ghost. Ghost is at his hotel room, looking out uh, into the, the the world or whatever. He's sitting on his bed, you know, looking out the view or whatever. He calls Tariq. You know, Tariq, you know what I'm saying? We need to meet up and chit chat or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I got some things to share with you that only a father can share with his son. So please call me back. Your son is utterly disrespectful. Your son don't fuck with you, okay? Let that go. He then gets a call from Ramona. Like, cut the TV on him you know and look at the news. It's being announced that he will be possibly the, the lieutenant governor because, you know, that lady has, you know, chosen him to be her running mate. I'm like, okay, James, your whole life is going to change. Ramona is also happy because she only know James St. Patrick. She don't know ghosts, okay? She has been blind to who he really was this whole time. And he says, I'm ready. Are you really? No, bruh, you a whole killer. Okay, you then see him and Ramona and that white woman whose name I do not know. Um, on a little lunch date talking about, you know, him being the nominee. He has to pass a background check or whatever. And also she wants to take a walk through the location that he's gonna have for the Queen Child Project. She she wants to see it. Oh well, I don't know if I can do that. Like I may not get that building because again, Jason was killed in. It, okay, so so you know if you can't secure no location for that, you know what I'm saying that is a part of the strategy for you to become a governor. So if you can't do that, I'm gonna have to figure out other things to do, whatever. And my number two person is Tate. Okay, and so then she leaves. Let me see, Ramona, can she do that? She's like, you know, it'll work because you know it's a, 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 two people who was beefing. Becoming cool and working together is the next best thing to, you know what I'm saying, you being a great black hope worker. So he said, you know what I'm saying, I'll fix it. Because, you know what I'm saying, I won't lose this opportunity. I'm so we then see, you know, Harry walking towards, and y'all know Harry, I keep calling that man Harry, even though that ain't his name. But y'all know Harry, you know, because he played Harry on Second the City, okay? So, Sax go in. And he is talking, you know, here, like, how in the hell did you get in here? You are fired. Oh, my badge still work. Okay, let me call security. Give me that badge back. You should not be here, bro. I am done with you. Look, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, St. Patrick and Eakin still out here or whatever. And if you let them go, if you let them go, you know what I'm saying? It'll all be on you. It's like... Are you on drugs? Like, are you on crack? What is going on with you? Did you search Patrick's apartment? Did, did you search his hotel room? I'm pretty sure it's evidence at, you know, St. Patrick's uh, hotel room that he probably has something to do with Lakeisha Bikini. Like, you are really on crack. What? What is wrong? Are you on... Look, James was with Tate the whole time when Lakeisha was being taken out or whatever. I checked the cameras myself, okay? That's where he was. He did not do this, Okay. So he like, look, James ain't no suspect. We not searching his place or whatever. Get out. Okay, get the f out of here. Leave me be. Okay, we then see Blanca comes in a little bit later. Okay, and she just as gassed up as that. He like, 
if you see Cooper Saxton here, please shoot him. I'll give you permission. Oh, he was here? He's I guess he ranting and raving about James A. Patrick and Tommy Egan or whatever. It's you know say he he's crazy. Well, no, he's not completely crazy. He's like, now you really drank the Kool-Aid too. What is wrong with you? Her mom ain't over my way. That's wrong with her. You know, um, even if he didn't kill Lakeisha, you know what I'm saying? He probably killed Terry Silver. You know our teeth don't move. And she was on the little uh pro power confidential. I think maybe last week, she don't talk like that in real life. So she purposely put on this voice for the show. Okay. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? But again, she like, I, you know, if again, if he didn't do, do Keisha thing, you know what I'm saying? He probably killed Terry Silver. What? You know what I'm saying? He like, what she said, well, Tasha gave us the location of Terry's body. He like, well, that implicates her, not Jane. What is wrong with y'all? Like, what is going on? You know, she like, look. We also found some dirt in Terry's car from the Queen Child Project side or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, she like, he like, yeah, but that don't mean, that, he, that don't prove that James did anything. You know, that could be the touch of something. She like, no, nah, you know, because Terry was, you know, six foot two, weighed this much amount of weight or whatever. Tosh is too little to have snapped his neck, put him in a trunk and all this, and, and, and all this stuff. So I'm like, I mean, people have done things you never know. You don't even so want to arrest James, she just wants a search warrant to go into his house and look around. And look, you ain't got enough evidence for no search warrant, so go ahead and get you some more evidence or whatever. And if you get some more evidence, then you know what I'm saying, we will get a warrant for him. But I got time, you know what I'm saying. And you starting to sound just like Sax, and he's like, and that's not a compliment, it's because Sax is crazy, just like Blanca is becoming. So, Ghost goes to like a little bar somewhere. And I'm like, what is he doing? What is he in this little bar for? And we then see it's a man in there. Where is this? You know, he owns this little bar. And he's like, hey, do I know you somewhere? He was like, you know, I haven't been here in years. You know what I'm saying? Um, do you still own, you know, the whole building plus upstairs? He's like, yeah, you know, people, you know, nobody wants to pay me what it's worth or whatever. So, you know, he offers him some money to buy it. He laughed like, no, nah, man, I can't take this if you're going to just come here and tear it down. Like, you know what I'm saying? This bar meant something to people or whatnot. He said, you know, I'm not going to do that. This place will become a place where kids can come and grow and learn about music and art and all that stuff. And it'd be great. You know what I'm saying? He then said, you know, your father will be proud of you, Jamie. And I'm like, how do you know that man's name? You know his father? He's like, oh, Uncle Gabe, you remember me? He's like, of course I remember you, son. You know what I'm saying? I haven't, you, you, why ain't you coming back? I haven't seen you since your father died. I'm like, okay, this is real uncle. But it's like a little play uncle or whatever. So, you know, they hugging or whatever. Like, where did you go, you know, back then when you left? Oh, you know, I want to go stay with Tommy. You know what I'm saying? The, the one white guy from the hood. He like, I told your daddy, I told your daddy that we should have paid off them drug dealers. They paid them off because they was dangerous, but he didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Instead, he ain't listened to me, and he went and talked to the police. So, I'm guessing somebody killed daddy for being a snitch. Okay? But, you know, like, but your dad would be proud of you to come back to be buying this place. You know what I'm saying? To make it something for, for the better. He like, well, he'll be proud of me now. Meaning, before I was a drug dealer, now I'm trying not to be. But, I mean, goes to James and James goes, so it is what it is. We then see Blanca and Sax walking around. And I'm like, why... <sighs> Cooper Sacks is not working with, I don't get why she walking around with that man. I, I really don't get it. I do not understand it. And it's kind of frustrating because you're looking like she know he got fired. She's usually by the book. Why do you keep keeping him with you? That is illegal. It's illegal when anybody get into the courtroom and they say, well, yeah, when Blanca came to see me and talk to me with Cooper Sacks, they're going to say, what, what, who, why was he, I digress. Anyway, they go see Tate, okay, y'all know Tate has it out for James, okay, and they say, you know, Tate, we need to talk to you, okay, we're trying to get some evidence on James St. Patrick, okay, if you can tell us where he was the night of the, the day after the Queen Child Project, you know what I'm saying, groundbreaking or whatever. Where did he go? And Tate looked like the little Grinch that stole Christmas. He was just like, just so happy about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know where he went or whatever. He left pretty quickly because he was going after his wife because they was not having a good day that day or whatever. It was a little bit of tension between them two. Now, the whole time from there, you know what I'm saying, 
sex starts saying we need you to tell us where James was because we need to because 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 Terry Silver was dead like his his attorney. Yep, he did. And Cooper. Now every time Sack is telling Tate stuff, he not supposed to know. Blanca Cooper. Sex. Shut up, okay? And so, but he still, Terry dead. Terry was messing with, with, with Tasha. We think James knew. And if you can tell us that he knew, that he told you he knew, that proves that he probably killed Terry and he can go to jail for life, okay? And not go up to that seat in the, in the, in within the, within the governor's office. So I'm looking like, what? So you just coerce a fake confession, or, or not even a confession, but a, uh, a statement from someone knowing they only said it to get like what what is going on here? Girl, when they had Courtney A. Kemp on the power conference thing and when she said what well, they said that she wrote this episode in like one day, you can tell. You can tell because she threw everything but the kitchen sink. Okay, no, she said no. The, the kitchen sink was there too. The kitchen sink, the stove, the refrigerator, the microwave, the can opener, the air fryer. She threw everything in this episode. I'm looking like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, please, Jesus, fix it. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. But again, Cooper Sacks is giving say all the things he needs to say and why he needs to say it, which means even if he 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 don't say what you want him to say. And I'm like, this is what we want with that? Okay. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this is what we need to take him down. I'm okay. So, you know, at this point, Tate says, like, yes. He told me he knew he was in a rage about it. He was in a rage about his defense attorney sleeping with his wife. I'm looking like... You know, so they walk out. They didn't have Tate sign a, 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 a statement saying, yes, James told me that he knew Terry was... I'm looking like, really? And then Cooper, like, oh, it's no big deal or whatever. And, and Blanca, like, this is, you know, you made him confess it. It wasn't... Da, 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 da. You know, this is tainting. You know what I'm saying? Now the whole case could go down or whatever because he's a fake witness or whatever. And so anything I work for could go down the drain. And he then say, well, did you want a search warrant or not? What what, what you want to do? The fact that she saw Cooper was fired for doing this exact same thing, why would you go with him to do the exact same thing? I thought she was by the book. Ain't that what I thought? Why? Because y'all are trying to, girl, I, I digress. I, I don't care. You know, we then see James at his hotel room. And he's hallucinating again. He's hallucinating seeing Angela and having full-fledged conversations. I don't care about conversations with dead people. You want to know why? Because those don't hold up in court. So every time I see a show and people have these these kind of conversations with dead people, I'm looking like, for what? Especially because we've already seen him have full-fledged con Everybody get one good ghost conversation. Okay, when somebody first that, you get one good ghost conversation. Angela, but on this show, more was a dead woman this season than she was as a, uh, uh, the last woman last season. I'm just saying. I'm like, why is she still here haunting us? I don't know, but whatever. He then goes to, to, to Truth, okay, to meet with, with Ramona because he wanted to tell her about him securing the location for the Queen Shop project. And he gets there and he like, oh, I got, I got a location. And she's oh so happy. And she runs and she hugs him and she kisses him. He's like, oh, she's like, I'm so sorry. He kisses her back, okay. And then they like, oh, I've been waiting for forever to do that, okay. And I'm like, okay, now they're kissing friends. Now they, they like each other. I mean, we've been waiting for it to happen, but I feel like, I see where this episode is going, and I don't like it. Not one bit, okay? So, we then see Blanca. Blanca has fake hotel staff, okay? They got a search, a peek and search. Was it a peek and search? A peek and sneak or a peek and search or something. What was it called? I mean, oh, yeah, sneak and peek warrant, meaning they can go in, see what they can see, get some little bit of stuff, but they can't take anything from there and they gotta put everything back when they found okay point to blank period so they found some dirt in his shoe the same dirt from the queen child product okay cool and they also found the phone that dre planted per silver i mean per per sex in the room and so i'm looking like oh, 
There we go. Y'all did the same thing when y'all accused him of taking out Knox, okay? It was a whole planted thing in the room and in the, in, the, in the office or whatever they found. And that's how you want to do I'm looking like, y'all could not do this again. Our ground had time. That's the hair, okay? She's done about the hair or whatever. And then it's like, yeah, we found this stuff, the, the stuff on the shoes or whatever. And then we found this phone. He like, you were not supposed to take anything from the hotel it was a, it was a sneaky peek or whatever she won't leave it and he he remembered it was there and he moved it or whatever so she like i had to take it i'm looking like but it's illegal you, you didn't have the right to take it okay it would be admissible in court but i digress anyway so you know he like you know you think someone who was wrongly convicted for taking up for killing knox you know it was a fake weapon you know enough it was the weapon was planted on him that time you think that he would really take out terry silver and then keep his phone in his hotel room all this time y'all make no damn so y'all if he is this killing mastermind why would he do that why would he be that sloppy you know I, he like i don't believe it and neither would you but it was there harry it was there he said yes it was there but how was it there not how who who could have put it there and they think about it sex because again he was the one telling both of them you need to get a search warrant for his hotel room duh dumb dumb did t okay i'm like I, girl so the whole time that's going on you know james being announced as the running mate with that white woman or whatever to be the next lieutenant governor i'm like okay i mean i don't know what he's done to be lieutenant governor i don't know but i mean trump was president so he ain't do nothing but it is what it is so we do see tommy in the audience watching the announcement of jamie jamie giving this little you know, acceptance speech or whatever you know and i'm like all right whatever Good luck. Um, we also see as he's walking around, someone is following him. Like there, we always see someone who's watching him. We don't see who it is. So I'm like, okay, who's playing peekaboo? I don't know. So he then goes to see Raina, her grave. Okay, he goes to her grave. So how much he misses her, how much he thinks about her. You know what I'm saying, you know how he failed her, and you know, but he kept his promise to be better, or whatever, and that he bought the club. You know, her grandfather's club, it will be a place where kids can grow up and be safe. You know what I'm saying? Kids will have more time than she had on earth. I'm like, well, that's nice. That's very, very nice, okay? He then turns around and Tasha's there, okay? Tasha walked up. He's like, what you doing here? What are you here for? I'm here every week. And she has flowers. Now, he was there. It was old flowers. Then I've already been there for about a week. So, you see, she come probably every week and put new flowers on the grave. So, you know... You know, they talk a little bit or whatever, you know, and then she's like, yeah, I heard about your little new little thing or whatever. Don't you know, you know, you're begging for people to dig into your past. Like, I already passed a background check. It's, it's fine, you know what I'm saying, because of him being between the, between the governor. Now, I don't know how he passed the background check, but I digress. So, you know, she's like, you know, he like, well, you you dumb because you're out here with a little drug dealing daycare, <laughs> daycare or whatever. you the one that should be worried about things going on. It was saying, um, he like you so you need to stop doing that. Okay? Because that don't need to be happening or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He then said, you know what, I wanna let you know. I have met someone. He like she's like, I know. Ramon, I'm not stupid. Okay, well, you know, I want I'm I'm moving on, okay. I'm moving on and I release you from our I say release her from you. She released you a long time ago. She told you that she wanted a divorce. Okay. The only reason y'all been faking like y'all was a couple because you needed her and all the things that's going on. But I'm, I'm he said, I release you. I said, Ninja, what? Ghost. Go come on now, Jane. Say Patrick, don't do this yourself. She, I, that that pissed me off, okay? He need my husband. But I, I release you from my marriage. I want to move on and you can enjoy your life as Tasha Green. I'm looking like, that's what she's been trying to do, but you keep popping up, messing with her. Now, Tasha makes some dumb decisions as well, so it's not just ghost. But I'm like, you can't talk as if she's been the one trying to hold on to this marriage. This is not how it goes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But he's like, you know, you can live your life and I won't be in it. And she's looking like... This nigga here, she's she's mad. She's upset. She also looks like she wants to cry, but refuses to give him the pleasure of seeing her being hurt. And he just walks away, and she looks like this. Nigga. They need to arrest him. It's how she looking, but you know, it's what it is. So we then see Tate. Now Tate goes to see Ghost at Truth, and at first he came in high, like I can't believe you passed the background. Like, I don't know how that happened or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He like look. But I'm going to leave that be. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm here to warn you. Now, Tate know 
about them coming for him because he lied and said he said said some things. Okay, um, excuse me. I also think he probably know about Tariq, um, blood being found in every place or whatnot. Um, anyway, but he like I came to warn you, but ghost. Is so on his can't nobody stop me. I mean, Ghost is when he talks to each person, he's like just going off. Like with Taj I, I release you. I'm gonna move on. Whatever, whatever, whatever. and stop your little drug daycare. Okay, with Tate, you know, with Tate said I wanted to, to warn you. I don't want to hear nothing about that or whatever I'm saying. You know, you always thought I was after you, but you forget I didn't want to be in this business. I don't want to be, you know, in the political spotlight. But I'm here. Okay, I am here. You know what I'm saying? And then Tay said, well, fine, but I was going to say, you know what I'm saying, about your son, about Tree. Oh, here you go. Like, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The reason I bested you, the reason I'm better than you, the reason that you keep failing at this is because, you know, maybe this just is your stuff. Okay, I am better than you in this, okay? You know what I'm saying? So Tate don't warn him about shit, but Tate looked pissed off because Ghost told him, you ain't cut out for this, bro. Go ahead on. Go ahead on. Okay, I'm like, okay. Again, Ghost is going off on everyone. He really feels like because he is, you know, going to be the lieutenant governor, that he doesn't need anybody else from his past in his current. And I'm like, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. So, Ghost then gets the message from Tariq. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we can talk. So, when Tariq gets to the club, he walks in and say, it ain't for me. He turned around and here come, here come Dre. I'm looking like... Tree, why you bring? Why ain't Dre? Why do we keep seeing Dre? I don't know, but you know, Dre walks in as if he ain't did nothing wrong, as if he's just the easiest person to be friends with. Okay, now Ghost is pissed. Okay, he's pissed off. So Tree goes waiting hall. Um, you know, I know you set me up, you know, for Jason's murder. But I know you did. They like, I don't know what. You talking about what the f you want? You got two minutes, okay? What what do you want, okay? You look, you know, I know things about you. I know things about your sons, and you have to help me, okay? I have to get out of this town, out of the city, whatever, and you need to help me. I need money. <sighs> I give you two fifty, okay? I give you two fifty k, whatever. Meet me an hour, you know. Poof, be gone. What? You can't be just dismissing me. I, I don't. He like, look, you said you need me, right? Okay, look, you are just helpless. You are helpless. You have so much potential before, but I come to see that you just, you ain't shit. Okay, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't shit. Nah, ain't gonna ever be shit or whatever. You are just a helpless bitch. Okay, so I will give you the money you need because, again, you have always needed me because, again, you're a helpless bitch. Now leave and I will text you when you can meet me to pick up your money. And I'm like, well, that was a nice or whatever. So Dre leaves. Ghost then calls that security guard dude. He said, hey, leak that footage. Uh, or send that footage of of Dre, you know, um, going to the bit to the to the girl, Dre going into the building, you know, where Jason was killed, you know, send it. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm saying, and then lose my number. Okay, fine. So I'm like, well, that's some difference. So we then see, you know, Dre waiting for ghosts to pick up his money, and what happens? <laughs> the police pick him up, and Dre is arrested. Okay, the moment. We have finally been waiting for. He looks so sad to be arrested. Okay, I was like, finally, you know, he's arrested. It's hard evidence. Okay, they seen him walking in the building. They seen him sneaking out, and there was a whole dead body there. Okay, and no one else was there but you. And I'm like, okay. Finally, they didn't kill Dre, but Dre gonna go to jail for Jason's murder. Yay! The one good thing in the episode. So, cool. We then see Tommy text ghosts. We need to meet. I'm like, oh my god. Then he want to kill him later? So, he and Tommy talking about every time. Like, look, I know you didn't kill Keisha. I realized that you didn't do whatever. My bad. I was tripping or whatever. You're like, I don't know why you didn't believe me when I told you. Because you go because you're not trust. Worthy, but I can't trust you at all. Okay, I, I can't do that. You know? So go then say him some look. I have never pulled the trigger on anyone you love. Okay, not Keisha, not Holly, not even Teresa. You said I just didn't want the people in your life because they wasn't good for you, bro. I'm like, but you convinced somebody else to kill him. At least Teresa, not Holly, but Teresa. But I digress. He had nothing at all to do with Keisha. He tried to pay Tasha to leave. Not Tasha. 
Holly and Keisha to leave but they did not. Anyway, so they then discussed because he said, oh, so, you know, because he said, I was trying to do things to protect you. Oh, so you lied and told me that Proctor got rid of that recording of me talking to Louise and basically killing Louise. Um, you know, that you said he got rid of. He's like, what, what do you mean? That recording, you know, that Proctor, he like Proctor told me, told me he got rid of so I guess he lied. I guess he played as both. He did. In the end, Proctor did play them both. <laughs> one way or the other, okay? So, he's like, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm off the game or whatever. I'm trying to leave and, you know, we used to be brothers or whatever, you know. Kanan said this and that or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying? We used to be brothers, okay? And I don't get, you know, what happened with Ron, okay? This bullshit, 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 if you ask me, you know what I'm saying? You were more than a friend to me. We were brothers, okay? But I know, I don't know now if you will let me live and leave here or if you're going to try to kill me or whatever. Like, you know, ghosts. G, I'm still your brother, you know what I'm saying? But that's the game saying you even got my caress. I didn't do that. That, you know, that wasn't me. So I don't know what you're talking about or whatever. I didn't do that. But you need me more than I need you, okay? You need me. Even if you need to hate me, you need me to do that. You know what I'm saying? You need me, Tommy, but I'm letting you go. I'm leaving. I'm leaving everything behind, Tommy. I'm done, okay? I'm done. And you can't stop me, okay? No one can stop me. I'm out. And he walk away or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you leave, you leave, you get everything and I get nothing. I have nothing. You chose to have nothing, Tommy. You made that choice. <clears throat> I told you a long time ago to get out, but you made the choice to be by yourself. You you did this or whatever. As they arguing, now all of a sudden somebody shoot down my cool shooting. Who's shooting? So ghosts feel like, okay, Tommy set me up and trying to give me shot. And Tommy's like, no, they might be, I don't know. Who it is. So they both shooting at the people. The people shooting back or whatever. They kind of go their separate ways to, to try to get up out of it or whatever. You then hear bang, bang, bang. And then Tom, Will and Tommy, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't kill Tommy. But no, it wasn't Tommy. It was one of the people who was shooting at them who was dead. But Tommy just disappears. Girl, I said, let me just straight. You're going to have Ghost and Tommy talk. A shootout starts and some random person gets shot. But Tommy and Ghost don't, and then Tommy just gone. Okay. Okay. I guess so. I don't, but I'm like, did Ghost send them there to distract the situation? I don't know. That part, it was it was a mad fuck if you ask me. We then see Harry and Blanca. And they have sex in there, you know, kind of in handcuffs a little bit or whatever. And was it handcuffs? Oh, you know, he was just there. And his lawyer, Tamika. So Tamika's in the scene too. And I'm like, why is we having this conversation, y'all? Now, y'all know Tamika here looks good this time, okay? She was on there before, too. But I just didn't mention it because it wasn't that much. But Tamika is his lawyer, and so that's who they're going to talk to, whatever. And so, you know, Harry and Block, like, no, we know that you stole that phone, that you planted that phone, and you need to admit it or whatever, and we can get this done with since you have got you've got multiple witnesses killed, you were just been a complete fuck up. And Tamika, like, look, Y'all don't know what he did. Y'all can't keep accusing him of things or whatever. So, leave it be. And I'm like, look, I feel like Tamika know how rogue he goes. So, I'm saying, you know he done all this, but she's like, I'm going to still defend him to the end just because, you know what I'm saying, um, we in the same boat. I'm like, but y'all already not. Anyway, you know, Sax then say, I would never break the law to get a criminal. I would never do that. I, how would I even get his phone? Now, when he said that, Block looking like this Negro here is lying, okay? Because I was with him when he was doing stuff that wasn't the right thing, okay? Because he's talking as if he had not been involved in it at all. Because again, he was fired. So Blanca says, when she realizes him saying, like, I would never do this or that, she realizes, okay, he lying. And she's like, he was with me when I found Terry. Okay, he's been with me or whatever, doing that. He was with me when I went to talk to Tasha. He was with me when I went to talk to Teddy. Harry, like, are you fucking kidding me? You know he's fine. Why would you do? This is all tainted evidence. None of this will hold up in court because you had a person who wasn't working with you there. Like, why would you, why would you do that? I can't believe that. And he knew that you played me, Sax. He Harry said, no, you played yourself, allowing him to be with you, which is true, dummy. Okay, Blanca is dumb, dumb, the dumb, dumb in this episode. Okay, so at this point in time, Harry's pissed. He's pissed off because, again, he like, it's just some some bullshit all the way around. So, 
Tamika said, you know what, if you, do you really want to bring him up on charges? Because it'll be your mistake. Because it'll be like, you, you know, let's block it in this investigation. She then let, you know, sacks me a part of it. So it's, it'll all fall on you. He said, Eric, do you want to <clears throat> make him look bad and make your office look bad? Or do you want to just forget this whole little thing and all of us go after James St. I'm looking like, go off. <sighs> So ignore all the legal things that Sax has done and go to James because y'all assume he did this. This is the same thing that happened to see what season one is. Whenever he just, it's the same thing over and over. When, well, he did, he did kill Terry, but he didn't kill Angela. So it's, just, it's the same thing. I'm like, y'all really ran out of script, out of. I don't care. We then see James go to Vincent with a gun like, oh, yeah, I should kill you for you to my son. He's like, well, no, you won't because your son deserved it. He did, okay? But he don't tell Ghost that the whole thing was a trap, a trick, and a ruse to get money out of them. But I digress, okay? Anyway, but Vincent, like, you know, he deserves it, so it is what it is. Okay, fine. So you owe me one, so I want a favor. And we'll be squared away. He then said, I want you to get a burner phone in prison because I need to talk to somebody that's in. I'm like, who he need to talk to? I'm like, you don't. We want to talk to Dre? Or is it too big and spank? I'm like, which one could it be? Anyway, I'm like, girl, I don't care. So he gets back the truth and passes there. Okay, as I said, I'm looking like, what? Really? Why? She then say, I heard the autopsy results or whatever. I know you didn't kill my sister, but I don't think that you may not have, you know what I'm saying, paid someone else to do it. But I love this. Why would I do that? I love this. Well, send you now. I guess, you know, you probably won't even do that. I'm like, send pads away. Why is she back? For what? Okay, I, I don't care. Anyway, they talking whatever. You know, why would she risk her life, you know, to keep you out of jail. You know, why would she do that? Now, as they're talking, Ramona's walking up and she's hearing the conversation, okay? He like, well, she did it to keep us all to keep us all out of jail. But I loved her, whatever. You know, I loved her very, very, very so much. Okay, but James, tell me who killed my sister. You know what I'm saying? He's like, look, yeah, I miss her so much. Just like you would have, but I can't tell you because I don't know who killed her. I don't know who did it, but it was not me, okay? And so she leaves, she's pissed. You won't see me again. What you back for now? What are you back for now? So then Ramona comes in and whatever, like, you know, um, I can't compete with ghosts, you know, because who was that? Who was she talking about? Oh, that's, that's Angela's sister, whatever, you know, she's just emotional, whatnot. But yeah, I can't get people ghosts, you know what I'm saying? And in my last, in my marriage, there was so much so many secrets, you know what I'm saying, that it just fell apart or whatever, and I can't do that now. Like, if the feds are after you, I need to know because we need to be able to handle these things. So, like, look, nothing's wrong. It's fine, but I do have to go talk to Tasha real quick. But for the last time, I promise. I'm like, if you say so. We did see him and Tasha meet. I'm like, this episode, girl, I'm so... <sighs> Tasha and Ghost meet up at the pinoff, which has now been remodeled. I'm like, how? How? How do they get so much done that fast, okay? I don't know, but I guess it is what it is. Anyway, we also don't know how long it's been. But, I mean, the house, the penthouse is back to normal. It's empty, but they fixed all the bullet holes, okay? Um. Anyway, they're walking through it just to, I guess, I don't know. To say what they're going to do with the next. Anyway, you know... James, like, you know, I'm sorry for, you know, how things turned out. I'm sorry about everything that happened or whatever. Oh, you'll be sorry. You know, you don't even know, but you're going to be sorry. He like, look, she says to him, you know what I'm saying, um, I know that you're trying to turn to again for a race murder. I'm like, when did, when did that happen? When did, what? And he's like, are you crazy? Woman, well, I mean, you, you know I would never do that to my son, okay? I would not do that. Well, you know, yes, you would, because you want... He's like, look, look, maybe Tariq should confess. She's like, what? Are you, what? He said, look, okay, you know, you know, you know, oh, you want our son, you know, our, our, our non-street, non-hood son to go to jail? Okay, no cop, no, no life, no what? He's like, look, ain't what, I'm saying. what I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying, um... If he confesses and we get him a good lawyer, okay, and you know what I'm saying, we he killed his sister's killer, like no jury's gonna give him like no real hard time for that. Yes, they will go go you fools. Okay, you're he's still a black kid, okay, he's still a black boy. But he killed somebody else black. I, I got it, girl. 
focus. You know, he like we, we get a we get him a good lawyer, whatever. He won't get jail time. He can get like probation, maybe some kind of military, some kind of some type type of military school or something short term. Okay, some kind of deal. Okay, some kind of we wouldn't have to do that chance if you would confess. Like I'm not. He like look. You know what I'm saying I can't do that or whatever because I'm the head, right, Tasha? If I go down, we all go down. If I go down, they're gonna investigate everyone else, you know, around me, plus you. Okay, they're gonna look at your little day, your, your your little druggy daycare, and, and that will be shut down. And you go to jail. But he, once I'm in office, okay, I can. It can be better for everyone. I can help Tariq. I can help anybody who cut his case, even you, for Lakeisha. And she was like. What he said? I figured. I figured. Out, I told you what was going on, and you went over there, okay? And you did it, and you tried to act like you didn't know. You killed Lakeisha, whatever. No way. Now, she you know, but you, oh, like you murdered, murdered, mur murdered Terry Silver. I don't. <laughs> Can y'all tell how pissed off I am that they put so much into one episode? That they need to all the extra all the extra people and the extra stuff they put in here they could have spaced this out better if they focus on the main people and why are we getting conversation why is he gonna be between the, between the governor for what girl I'm just so pissed again she bring up Terry Silver being murdered or whatever you'm saying he like I don't know what you talking about leave me be or whatever you're saying he like look you can't keep covering for you know eventually he needs to do things like he the best option for our son is to let him be held accountable that's true in Teresa because Tariq consistently does dumb things and they keep covering for him they've been covering for him forever okay and it hasn't helped him stop getting into trouble so again even though it sounds messed up and even though he has a selfish reasons for saying it Tariq does need to be held accountable for his own shits but i digress okay you know he like look think about it nothing we've done to save him has helped him okay nothing that i've done that you've done that tommy's done that Kanan did that keisha did none of that has helped him do anything different or whatever so you know i'm just saying or whatever you know i hope you get it. everything you want i hope you get everything you want things he then say i always do i always do Ghost and then, then goes into Raina's over room and what does he see Raina's ghost, okay? I'm like, finally a ghost I can work with, okay? I'm happy he's seen Raina. You know what I'm saying? She's like, you know, why are your mom always fighting? Well, when we, when we, when we lost you, your mom, you know, she changed, whatever. She just hasn't been the same since you've been gone. And now she'll do anything to save your brother. So it's just, it's just it's complicated. You know, he then asked her, you know, she said, you know, Dad, it wasn't Tariq who told me to lie for him. Like, I chose to lie from he never asked me to do it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't teach me how to lie. You did. You and mom both taught me to lie because y'all lied to us so much. I knew how to do it. Um, he did ask, like, you know, should I let your brother, you know, turn himself in, you know, for things or whatever? And she said, I paid for my mistakes. Why shouldn't he? The lies killed me. And I was like, oh, that scene right there was the best scene, in my opinion, of the, of, the, of the whole episode, you know, just that explanation of of it, you know, like because of the, the things, the things that I lied about, because of what I held in, because of things I did, I paid the ultimate price. Why is he being held accountable for what things that he's done? Okay, he's the reason I'm dead too. Truth be told, or whatever, you know. And then he gets a text from Tariq and he leaves. Tariq comes to talk. My mom told me they found my blood at Raymond's house. Okay, they, I know that. You know what I'm saying he said, "Well, yeah, that's true." You know what I'm saying so he's saying, "Say, well, you told me that if push comes, if they ever, you know, try to pin it on somebody, you know, you would take the rap for me." You know what I'm saying you told me, you promised me that you would do that for me, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. And at this point in time, goes like, "Nah, son, you need to now be held accountable for your own actions. You need to be the one." To take the rap yourself, which makes Tariq pissed off because they feel like, you know, you keep promising me things, you keep trying to be there for me, but you are really not. But I feel like, Tariq, you put yourself in this predicament. And not only that, you don't need to like your daddy. But, I mean, he sit down and see him and say, look, um, T, 
tell me all the dirt you done that with all your drug deals, this, that, this, and this, or whatever. And about the first time you kill someone, well, you kill Breeze. So he knew that he got that story from Canaan. So he sits down and says, look, Breeze was around or whatever, but Breeze was in the way of us trying to do better. Okay? And I gave him a chance. I tried to offer him a chance to fall in line. He refused, so I had to take him out. But Canaan knew this, okay? And it was what it was, whatever. So, Tariq is upset. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to do what's good for you. You know, it's always what's best for you. It's never about what's best for somebody else. I'm saying, you promised me that you would take the heat for me, you know? And now you're taking, you, you won't do that. You broke your promise. I'm not going to lie. Tariq, shut your crybaby ass up. Don't do stuff if you can't handle it, okay? <sighs> he leaves. <laughs> Girl. We then see Harry and Blanca go to a judge asking for a warrant. So the judge like, you know what, we've already won ethic uh St. Patrick. He was innocent. Like y'all have to be I want it airtight. Everything everything gotta be by the book. I don't want not nothing messed up because again we went through this thing before and the pe person really killed the person was the, the, the people in the office or whatever. I don't want that bullshit. So what's the evidence? Well, you know, we have um this 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 um Tate said James told him that he knew about the affair. Like, nope, that ain't good enough denied. Okay, we have soil that was in Silver's car that was also on James' shoes. He said, okay, so show me the proof that Terry had not been to the Queen of Child Friday too. Where's that proof? Oh, we don't have that. All right, denied. Next, Harry then pulls up the phone and say, this is Terry's phone that was found at James's apartment or whatever. And we don't see much, but we found out that it was an ad too. So I'm looking like, because Harry, why would you... <sighs> Harry seemed so by the book for him to bring that with him there and know it was like faulty evidence. Why everybody don't want to... Girl, I can't. I'm... Whatever. We then see two big and back in jail in the same cell. I'm like, first of all, that would ever happen. Um, they would not be together. They would be separated. Um, but anyway, Ghost calls them. Because Ghost, that's, that, that's phone. He wanted Vincent to get a job in the jail. It was for them. He calls and speaks to... To two bit. What you want? You know what I'm saying? I can't... What you call... What, 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 what? Like, look, man, look. It wasn't me. I was not the one that... You know what I'm saying? Call the people on y'all, whatever, it wasn't me, whatever. And Tommy, y'all boy, not mad. I digress. But I got a deal for y'all, okay? And it'll be for money and revenge. I'm looking like, well, okay, what kind of revenge? So we then see Blanca. Blanca talking to Tate and Paz. And telling them both they could not get a warrant for, you know, James to be arrested. Um, So, you know, he's going to be free. Can't get, he, 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 it is what it is. Are you serious? I can't believe it. What? He's, he'll, he'll just get off? And she's like, yep, you know, we can't do anything. We then see Blanca in jail because Dre, one phone call he made was to Blanca saying, go set me up to, for Jason's murder, whatever, and it was him, and I need you to get me out of this. I'm looking like, <sighs> I was so happy to see Dre get arrested. I was so happy. For that. And he calls Blanca to get him out of jail. She then says, okay, you know, I have, I'm going to ask you a question. And if you say yes, I can get you a deal to where you may do like 10 years, okay? It's either that or you do life, okay? Did James St. Patrick tell you that he killed Terry Silver? He then says, no, he didn't tell me. I was there. I'm like, it's this nigga here. <sighs> this is a moment I said this was the worst storyline ever. The fact that you, we've seen Dre lie and wiggle his way out of things for six seasons or five seasons or whatever. And the minute he's arrested for something that he did not do, I get that. But yeah, you then have him call Blanca and she say, did he take something? And he say, no, I was there. And then she then said, well, tell me what happened. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was there, whatever. And he started doing this. And, that. and she's like, well, you mean, you know, at the parking lot on the third floor? So she then gives some detail by detail of what he has to say that happened. I'm looking like, so you get, really? You you became Cooper Sacks? Well, you're, you're in an interrogation. Ain't this being recorded? No one hears her telling him what happened. Okay. 
out. Whatever you want to hear, just get me out of here. Okay. I'm we Nancy James is that truth, okay? Walk around, whatever. And Ramona walks in, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you look amazing. It's like a party or whatever. You look amazing, okay? And I wanted to keep us a secret for a while. He said, no, I'm not going to keep it a secret. And he kisses her in the middle of the party. Cool, 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 whatever. Nah, they not a secret. They uh, a, a flourishing couple. And it is what it is, okay? We see Tariq get there. Like, you really want me to confess? He was dressed up, though, for the party. You know what I'm saying? He was like a regular kid or whatever. You really want me to turn myself in? He said, yes, and I do. And I will be with you every step of the way. I will be right by your side, okay? Right there with you. All right. I'm going to leave that. Got to go. Talk to you later. So he leaves. You know, we see Tamika. Talking to sex, like they couldn't get no arrest, no arrest warrant for James or whatever, but they did get one for you. So, you know, you're probably going to jail. So, so I go to jail, and James and Patrick walks. He says, yes, you go to jail, and he will walk. This is some bullshit or whatever. So she leaves. He then goes in his room and gets his gun out of a locked box. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, do it. Can you, can, oh, we, is he gonna kill himself? Yeah, he, but he didn't. I'm like, God damn it. Okay, so ghost is that truth? Okay, he walking through the halls, whatever. He then see dead ass can. I'm like, another ghost. One episode and three ghosts, three whole ghosts. Okay, he and he a ghost. You the worst person. You know what I'm saying? You deserve to die. You deserve a need. All the. I'm like, why is he having a conversation with Canaan? For what? For why? For who? Anyway, you know, you deserve handcuffs and a needle and everything, whatever. Look, you know, I always knew I would end up here, you know, uh, doing better, whatever, being a, a, a businessman or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I just took the long route because you helped raise me into being ghosts, but I know who I am anymore, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing things different, whatever. Leave me be, nigga, go away. I'm like, alright, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you tried to, I know I tried to save your son, and you ruined mine. So, you know what I'm saying? Get out my face. He's a ghost. Doesn't matter. But I digress. Then Ramona comes in. Ghost? No. James? James, he's, he snaps out of it. So, we need to talk later, right? He's like, yeah, you know, meet me at my hotel in an hour. And they kiss, and she leaves or whatnot. So, we then see the ending. We see Sax walking around with a gun. Okay? We see Dre out of jail. Walk around what? A gun. Okay. We see pass. What she doing? Walking around with a gun. Okay. We see tape. Doing what? Walking around with a what? G U N a gun. Okay. We then see uh Tariq walk around. Okay, we see Tommy walk around, of course, with a gun. We see Tasha walk around. I'm assuming Tasha also has a gun, okay? And we see Blanca going down to truth. Okay, and then ghost is that truth. Closing up, cutting the lights off or whatever, you saying, cutting each room, light off, light off, light off, or whatever. You then see Blanca outside of truth, and you hear a gunshot. You hear a gunshot, and then you see ghosts falling back into a black hole, oh, or whatever. And it's a gunshot to the heart, well, at least to the chest part, or whatever. Saying, well, yeah, to the, to, like, went to the heart, and he's just falling slowly as Big Rich Town, the theme song, slowly plays with someone out else. I'm looking like, <sighs> and that's how I went off with a who shot ghost. <sighs> I am very pissed off that I watched this show for six seasons, and this was the Missy's. <laughs> Who shot Ghost? I knew Ghost would be shot. Because I'm, I'm guessing he's dead. I knew Ghost would be shot when the episode started off and he was looking out. I'm like, okay, this is a forewarning. By the end, he's either going to be dead or in jail. And then once I seen everybody that he had kind of messed with or whatever and went off on throughout the episode, not be arrested, be stuck in jail or dead, okay, they all, it's going to be thinking of which one of them killed him. And sure enough, that was, oh, this show started off so amazing. And this episode, to me, was the laziest writing of Who Shot Ghosts? It, it almost made me not want to watch the next five episodes. But I have to because I'm fucking invested. 
Okay, I worked the five to six years, uh, six seasons on it on this shit. I cannot believe this was it. I'm done, y'all. Love you all. Peace. Thank you.